Right, so it is day 24 of uh, this New Year's planting challenge um, and today it is blowing up a storm but we're actually going to be planting somewhere relatively sheltered um, so let's get on with it. Right, so today's planting is um, probably a demonstration of why I, I overplant generally because I do want there to be 360 feet of five trees at the end of the year but I will keep trying putting things in places where it's failed before. Now, fairly sure this should be a successful strategy because what I'm doing today is in this giant clump of bamboo which has so far defeated any attempt of mine to plant something in the middle of it. I want some diversity. I don't I don't want just a single sort of giant standard bamboo. There are some some Sansevieras have managed to sort of stand up as it's pushed through into them and a couple of the Apuntias, I think Apuntia Maxima right on the edge of it which is not entirely dead but it's not thriving either. So I thought I'd try and plant some things that will actually thrive in here, and it so happens that I want, wanted to free up a plant pot which was being occupied by a very, very large giant Schifflera, uh, which isn't actually in the genus Schifflera, I'll put up the genus it's in now. Um, I think it was originally uh, Schifflera actinophyllum, but it'll be up on the screen. Um, now it is big enough that it shouldn't be smothered by falling bamboo leaves as the bamboo dries out and drops its bamboo leaves, which is what usually puts pay to the Sansevieras. It is not inviting enough, I think, to the pouched rats who have their burrow in amongst the roots of the bamboo to decide that when it dries out they're going to eat it, which is what has happened to jackfruit seedlings in the past. Um, and hopefully it is... It is, yeah, just sufficiently shade tolerant because it does come naturally from very shady areas. This particular one has been on the side of the house where for eight months of the year it gets no direct sunlight and for the four months of the year where it can, it's generally very cloudy, so it's, it's not really uh, been getting direct sun, so this shouldn't be too dark for it. I'm putting in with that one of the Madagascan Calencos, which I found to grow quite happily in very shady positions. It's actually one that it's assumed to be Madagascan because it used to be in Bryophyllum, and all the other Bryophyllums are Madagascan, but it's pantropical. It is it, it spread around with humans a long, long time ago. They did start in Madagascar. Um, and I'm also putting in a cutting of the Aloniariensis. This one had been growing right inside an evergreen hedge, uh, so it should be pretty shade tolerant. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. And if it doesn't thrive, well, I've planted more than the 24 trees to today. Um, I think we're on 43 now, but I'll check. Um, check the description for that. But that should be everything for today. Uh, so tune in tomorrow and I will try and do be a little bit more sensible.